the lead horse for teleprompter and that's it they're all in under starters orders and they're away a mile straight this one grand harbor settling down in the early stages grand harbor the early leader from protection right up there too it's a fissio towards the far left of the picture bolin knight's not far behind the lead but grand harbor making it from protection and bolin knight over on the far side just spot the sheepskin nose band like a stable companion teleprompter just in behind grand harbor is scottish wheel and scottish wheels being tracked by supreme leader officio and lucky ring of the back markers grand harbor is making it from teleprompter and then comes protection and then scottish wheel then bolin knight on the inside and then supreme leader as they race down towards the halfway mark and this is it and it's grand harbor being chivied along their protection coming there very smoothly steve Cawthon on the inside and the old man teleprompter on the outside bolin knights making ground on the inner supreme leader's got plenty to do at the moment they're racing down towards the two furlong pole and as they race towards it it's teleprompter who's taken it up now from protection on the inside then comes scottish reel and then philip robinson unleashing a run now on supreme leader over on the far side but it's teleprompter from scottish reel supreme leader Leader still making ground. They're inside the final furlong now, and it's Scottish Reel and Teleprompter from Supreme Leader as they race into the closing stages. It's Scottish Reel from Teleprompter, Supreme Leader, and Officio putting in a good run too. But Scottish Reel has it sewn up as they come to the line. Scottish Reel is the winner, and second is Teleprompter, and third is Supreme Leader. Four was Officio. That's the one, two, three, four in the Judd Monty lock in stakes. First number 11, Scottish Reel, owned by Chevely Park Star, trained by Michael Start, and written by Walter Swinburne. Second was number one, Teleprompter, owned by Lord Derby, trained by Jack Watts, and written by, by Bill Watts, I should say, and uh, Jack was his father, written by Tony Ives. And third was number 12, Supreme Leader, owned by Captain Marcus Lemus, trained by Clyde Britton, and written by Philip